Welcome to the Little Revolution podcast. Um, today, our guest is very special. I mean, <laughs> we have no idea about anything of him. Yeah. Like zero. Zero. This, zero knowledge of zero him. Zero knowledge. This guy hasn't even been out on the internet yet. Not yet. Not but yet. <laughs> he will now. Maybe, uh, maybe I think he's gotten a little taste of the internet. He's got a little taste of technology. Technology, so too, yeah. And uh, now he's here with us. Um, we are very, very happy to have him on. He <laughs> is the first little person to ever come out of the Amish community, which is pretty amazing. Let's introduce Elmer Miller. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Welcome, yeah, man. Elmer. Oh man, this I ever since we've gotten the email about you, I've been so excited to have you on this show. Thank you. Because uh we're two guys that have been destroyed by the world that's <laughs> that you're living in now. We've done everything we've can in this world. And to have somebody of our same stature or you know yep, yep. Yep, uh leave the Amish community. And, you know, break out and come in, you know, to the craziness. Yeah. What, first off, what made you decide to do it? So when I was five, six years old, my father had a vegetable stand. And I'm working at the vegetable stand. And I see English people or all outside people, outside worldly people coming up buying vegetables. And I started watching how they drive and everything. And I was at probably five, six years old. I'm like, yeah, this is a lot easier driving a car than it is going <laughs> in the barn, get a horse out and trying to go down the road with a horse, being a little dude. Yeah. It's not easy to harness them horses. I watch them, like, it'd be a lot easier to hop in a car and, <laughs> you know, you drive away. <laughs> what, was your, what was the first car you saw that you wanted when you were yeah, like, that's dude. a bitching car right there? <clears throat> well, so the first car I... I saw it was cool. Was a little Geo Tracker. Oh, Geo Tracker. Yep. Okay. That was. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. Not really every. Not every like dudes going after chicks kind of vehicle. But. I see. Yeah, I see this dude driving like a like a like a Corvette or a Mustang. Yeah, just that's something what I with like the top down. That's and... what I wanted, but I <laughs> back of my head, I'm like first vehicle. I I spent like twenty eight hundred dollars a used vehicle because yeah. I'm like me not really knowing how to drive I'm like I'll probably smash a couple before I <laughs> you know <laughs> how 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 tall are you I am three foot eleven inches three foot eleven inches okay yep I like with it. my shoes on I'm they said four in uh, four yeah, yeah. foot yeah yeah four, four foot, foot. yep there you go that's what my ID says I yeah. like how I like how optimistic he was when he goes. You know, the first few cars I have, I'm going to crash into a few things, oh, yeah. you know? So after that, I'll get a good one. Yeah, my first car was terrible, man. I crashed a lot. It I, was like I, stupid <laughs> crashes, too. I knew, I knew myself good enough to, you know, you go out and, of course, I want to go get a Mustang or something fancy, you know? Yeah. But I knew I'm like, that's just probably not a smart move for just start out driving, you know? Mm -hmm. I was I was thinking about other kids or young kids, sixteen year old, start driving. A lot of time they smash it or they whatever, and I'm just like, I better, I better start out. Now you're you're from upstate New York, is that where? You, yep. Where upstate New York? Is that where? The, is that a big, huge Amish community where? where yeah, you're at? there is a lot of Amish up there. Yeah, I'm, yeah. yeah. Originally, my family comes from uh, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. That's then, what I was gonna say. Then they moved to Ohio, and then my grandfather moved to New York, and then finally my father moved to New York. I was uh, the second child born in New York in, in my family. Now, are you the only little person in your family, or is it? Yeah, uh, okay. well, I was, and then my, uh, my brother Harvey has a little person. Son? Really? Yep, and he that looks identical like me he's still an Amish so does <clears throat> do you guys tease his wife and say well 
Remember that one yeah. night you came home or didn't come home? So, <laughs> funny story, I was, um, so when I turned, you work for your father until you're 21. Okay. And then that's when you start making money. So, I went and work at my brother Harvey, help him out. They're going to have a baby, so I'm, so Harvey's um, try, trying to be available whenever she has a baby, so she had a baby whenever, and and next day he told me, and he says he's pretty sure it's going to be another little Elmer. <laughs> so he goes, I want you to check and see what you think. So when they hand me the baby, I'm like, oh, it's going to be another little dude. So is it your same dwarfism then? Yeah. Wh he, which one is yours? Mine is pseudochondroplasia. Pseudochondroplasia. So what does that mean? Basically, it means... Um, your joints just didn't grow when you, um, it's kind of like a rare joint disease. It just didn't let your joints grow. Got Not it. that I, it bothers me or anything. I've yeah, been, he no. seems but just more like of a petite guy, like where he's a little bit more proportioned than us. Yeah, Mar like Mark. Yeah. So us, so us, it's just our limbs. Yeah. We have normal torso and head height. Yep. It's Big just dicks. our act, Just know. kidding. Oh, okay. So you're saying I'm more proportionate yeah. than... Yeah, we're a little more awkward. You're good. That's what <laughs> makes you guys unique. Yeah, yeah. Now, in the Amish community, uh, do, you, do you guys say the word midget or like... Uh, yeah, like, they do. So we that's, say, that's what... They're like, oh, the, the, the midget over there. Yeah, the yeah. Over there. But that's normal. Yeah, that's normal. It's not I, like a, a like an offensive, like that's kind of how it is. Or do they say little person now? I don't uh, they, think no, Amish are like uh, like. <clears throat> no, they they call it Mitch or they don't really say little person. They say Mitch a lot yeah. of time. But now since I'm out here, I'm trying to like not use say that. Other than of course we can call each other probably <laughs> Mitch. <laughs> we we're trying to change it. Because a lot of little people are trying to not use it. Not use and it. And I've been on shows and stuff where, like, the DJs have told, radio shows, and the DJs have told me, yeah, we had so-and-so on as a guest, and they hated when I, and I'm like, yeah, but if you use it, people, and you feel comfortable with it, it'll get less used as a vulgar word than as a normal word, you know what it I mean? It won't be so yeah, derogatory. Yeah, it won't be <clears throat> derogatory. And that's how, like, we say it, and we're, you know, we kind of badge wear it because it you can tell it makes other people feel uncomfortable. Oh that, yeah. That's what we're about. So once you get once you get everybody uncomfortable, then they're comfortable again. Yeah. So but I had a um I was thinking uh in the Amish community, and you're the only little person besides your nephew, uh I would say there is probably a gene trace back that's in it because if you're if you're born with it that means your mother or your father carried it yep and then if your brother had it too because if he looks like you your brother had it so somewhere deep down in your family genes there is a grandma or a grandpa or somebody that was a little person back in the day and that's why yep. the gene was carried through yeah exactly my uh, way back i never got to meet him I want to say great great grandfather somewhere there was a guy named Little Mose. They said he was like 28 inches tall. He was oh, wow. little little. Yeah. So there is um When you say Little Mo is that short for Moses? Little, yeah, they would call him <laughs> Little Mo. <laughs> That's a good one. And and yeah. instead of saying Mose or they, yeah. that was his everybody yeah. knew him by Little Mo. Little. Yeah, Little Mo. <laughs> and he was like I want to say they said he was like 37 pounds. He was Oh, little, he was little. tiny. Yeah. He was petite. So there is um there when you look there is some it's it's stamps. There's ancestries yep. in your family that had it. Yeah, that's what they thought when I was born and they <laughs> said because they my dad doesn't, you know, my dad's not short, my mom's not and they're like someone deep down there was someone else. So in the you genome. had no Nope. No, but, oh, okay. Yeah, that's and then my too. dad left, and I have a brother and two sisters, and they're all average height. Yep. Yeah, so. But you never know where it came down the line. Yeah, my whole family's all, they're average height. And there was, 
15 of us. Yeah, and they're all average. So how many brothers and sisters do you have? There was eight boys and seven girls. Jeez. That's old school right there. Yeah. 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 Now, and you said that you saw the cars and everything when you were working at the vegetable stand when you were like five, six years old. But then you also said that you didn't start making money in the Amish community. You don't start making money until you're 20. So you worked that whole time without making any dough? Yeah, you. <laughs> so Damn. basically, you would. You out working here, for they your call home? You. Yeah, working for the it's home. It's kind of. Yeah. Call it. That's really cool. That's admirable. You know, I like that. When, you work until you're 21. Once you're 21, you're on your own. But uh, parents will buy your clothes and your food. You eat on their table, everything you need. Mm-hmm. And then you work for them. And they want my father, for instance, he wants me to go help that guy. Go build a fence for two months. Guess what? That's what you're doing. Okay. They know you don't get a chance to be like, oh, no, I don't want to. I don't feel like or anything like that. You just. You go. Yeah, my, yeah. Uh, it's, it's funny. It's <coughs> such a small world. Um, really? My niece, small world? Yeah, I know it is. My <laughs> niece, her boyfriend is friends with this guy. They oh, grew up no together. way. Out well, in upstate New York? Yeah. Yep. Um, he's not, he's not part of the Amish community, but he, once Elmer left, that's when he, yeah, that's up. when I, that's when he met up with him. Yep. How long have you been out? I've been out here for a little over two years. No, not out here. But is out here when you left the Amish community or how long have you been out of the Amish community? Did you live in New York by yourself for a little bit? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. How long, that's when, <clears throat> how long since you've left the community where you said, I'm done, I'm going on my own. Oh, how long I've been left. When did you leave the Amish community? A little over two years ago. Okay, and you're oh. 30 years old now, so you left it when you were 28 years old. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And then you lived in New York for a little bit. Yeah, I lived in New York for a little bit. New York City? No, out in the country. Okay. I'm over, you know where Canton, New York is? Actually, where, Syracuse, uh, close to Syracuse, that cl- area? Uh, no, about two hours above there. Okay. Like, um, I'm not far from Black Lake. Okay, Black Lake is, yeah. Yeah. My uh, wife's family owns an island on Black Lake, a small island. Yeah. They own an island? Yeah, and they, buy, they, they would buy all their fruits and vegetables, their pro- produce from the Amish community, their breads and everything. And no that's how way. they kind of, like, it's Amish community is that, huge in their area. Yeah, that's the type of Amish I yeah. was Yeah, in. and, like, yeah. I would go, like, we would go, like, uh, fishing and stuff out there at the lake, and you would see the Amish on their rowboats, like, fishing. They would pull up in their, their, their buggies and horses and then get on their little boat and fish. How come you never ran into Elmer before? I don't know. I, ha- I didn't go there a lot. but oh, okay. uh, That's probably busy work. <laughs> <laughs> He Probably. decided he, he was done with the fruit stand and he goes, yeah. I'm going to help the dude down the street with the fence. Yep. He slides me a couple beers on the You're side. You're probably badass at picking the fruit, though. You'd probably just put your hands on and run. Yeah, <laughs> yeah ain't that the benefit? <laughs> um, that's a good one. Yep. Picking strawberries. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I remember my back was like, Breaking off, picking berries. Is your back father. okay? Like, uh, uh, oh yeah. Now? Okay. You're, yeah. You I, seem like was, a pretty strong, fit dude. I I'm pretty healthy as far as I know. <laughs> yeah. You're thirty. Yep. Got a significant other. Guy, girl, whatever. I don't know which way you run now. Oh, what's that? <laughs> you have a bo- uh, girlfriend? Why? No, I don't have. I no don't. girlfriend. No, nope, I'm just single dude. Single dude. Yo. He's <laughs> single, ladies. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you gone on any dates with any ladies? I did. Yeah. Yo. How was that? It's awesome. Through a dating site? No, I never went on any dating sites. Good for you. You don't need a dating site. You don't know who you're gonna get. It might look like Pamela Anderson. And then Large Marge shows up. Yeah. <laughs> Don't um, go on dating. Sorry. They're like, that's my picture from three years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's like, me. Fuck, you, you got to update that shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Were they tall girls that you went on dates with? Yep. Nice. At least with like a little person's picture, you know what you're getting. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you Unless they put on some weight or something, but you're like, this is what you get. <laughs> <laughs> so good. <laughs> no, but uh, 
did were did any of them go past like a first date? Did you? Oh yeah. All I right. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Have nice. you ever heard of LPA? It's Little People of America. It's an association. They have these n in huge conventions every year in different cities where it's thousands of them, thousands of little people gather up, and they they, they All celebrate. Sizes. All they sizes. celebrate being like little people, you know, oh, yeah. and they meet each other. There's like, there's like a little person Olympics that where you can compete with people your own size there. There's like doctors there that talk to people about like, you oh, know. Oh, wow. There's yeah. a I, I heard about it, but I never, I never went to one of them. I'd where's, love to go to where's one. You'd be one, probably like. Where's the one coming up Mark told us about? I don't know. Where is that one? We were talking about it so I, much that I, I, I spaced I it. There's a big one coming up. Is it Ohio or Maryland? I don't know, but you got to hit it up, dude. Yeah, you okay. need to go. Yeah. It's a good place to meet, especially being out in the world now. Yo. Especially it's coming out of here, too. You'll have some celebrity status. <laughs> Joking. <laughs> That's uh, but, <laughs> but no, you can meet some other little people, women. Yeah. Some other little people, dudes for friends. Yeah, man. Nice. And yeah, it's a it's a good place. And they have these dances and stuff like, you know, yeah. And I see that in your Instagram or you're, you're, are you DJing? Is that your thing? I or? was. Yeah, I was with uh, DJ who. OK, I was just hanging out with him. And yeah, you're uh, like dancing on the Vegas. DJ tables. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's pretty dope. He trying to get the crowd going, you know. Absolutely. Um, I wanted to ask, like, so is. When you were 28 years old, is that the first time you picked up a, a cell phone and like kind of like saw what technology was all about, or were you secretly looking into it? Oh, like I with... secretly looking. Okay, into it. my okay. friend. Um, so my friend Erin Brown, I'm gonna use her name. She don't mind. I don't believe. Uh, she, when I left the Amish, I had it all sketch and stuff, and she picked me up. But before that, I would go to her house and she would teach me what a computer is and like looking stuff up like after I turned 21 you know I'm on my own so I would go to her house and I'd try to learn about a computer was that mind-blowing oh was yeah like, it what was the I just for me it was like I just couldn't believe it and I'm like first I'm like there's no way I'll ever learn how to operate these things you know a computer or a phone I'm a lot better with my phone than a computer yeah. so and then you know, she would go on there. It's a hard time to find shoes or clothing, stuff like that. And she would teach me these things. Like Amazon is not delivering packages in yeah. the Amish community, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, there's no, there's no Amazon truck coming through. Uh, beep, beep. Yeah. Once they, they would lose it if that <laughs> happened. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, they'll, they'll be coming up with Amish Amazon. <laughs> is there a... This is going to be the dumbest question ever, but... I'm glad. I can't wait. <laughs> rad, 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 rad. <laughs> what, is there, like, sports that come out of that? Like, like, like sports, like, athletes that come out of the Amish community? Like, what's your guys' sport? And, like... No, they're not really. There's... Now, the way I grew up, we started in school at six years old. Mm -hmm. And then, um, in the school, you learn, like, pay, playing some softball games and... We did little wrestling and stuff like that, but not you. It, there was no athlete coming out of it. Okay. Like, no. Uh, like, for an instant, when I was in second grade, uh, I used to get bullied so bad. People chomping over top of me and get kicked like back. Like Amish people doing yeah. this? Or the kids? picking on, yeah, all the wow. time. Well, they used to run. We used to run a lot. Uh, trying to race and stuff. End of that school year, I got first place to be the fastest runner. So You can run really fast? Right now I can, not okay. as much. But, but you were running back fast. Back then I could a little faster than I can now. So I got this dude, he run and he, I see him coming. I wasn't going very fast. He wants to chomp over top of me. And he would always kick me back in the head. And I'd get a headache. Son of a bitch. Yeah, so next time I'm like, this dude's gonna learn. I, I'll, <laughs> I'll just play the consequence. I'll, I'll take it. Whatever. He come, he jump, and when he jump over top of me, I quick reach up and grab his legs, flopped on his face. So, that was the end of him jumping over top of me. Well, so third grade, 
I worked at Ross Carson, and I was getting sick being bullied, you know. And I'm like, finally one day I woke up, I'm like, okay, I'm either going to be a wimp or I'm going to have to toughen up. And I'm like, I, this is bullshit. Uh, so I was like. This is something the Gen Z community should fucking be listening to. <laughs> yeah. Because they need to toughen up. Yeah. Man. So I'm like, I didn't want to get bullied my whole life. I'm like, I'm just going to show them I'm stronger. Once I'm strong enough where they're scared of me, they'll stop it. I figure. Well, I work at this place down the road that got food for grain and stuff for the Amish and for the English American people. So I worked there in the 100-pound bags. At first, I could barely drag them. Finally, I could drag them, handle them. I could finally swing them on my back. Well, end of that third grade year, this dude, he's weighing 180. And I was strong, but I was so light. I was weighing 57 pounds. And everybody wants me to wrestle him because he was the strongest dude. I looked at him, and finally, he's like, oh, I'm going to kill you. I'll grab a hold of one hand, I'm going to kill you. I said, yeah, okay. And finally, after I got pissed off enough, I'm like, okay, I'm going to do it. So we stood apart about eight foot. The quickest they said go, I ran up and I jumped, I grabbed him right in the neck. And I flipped him on the back. And when he reached up, I knew not to let him grab a hold of me because I'll be done. He reached up and I pinned him right Mm. across when he reached way up and I pinned him. He had to give up. Yeah. And then after that, they started respecting me because, and then you I t- was, I lost the fast running. Yeah. I got stocky. I kind of got blocky after that because, and I couldn't run so fast, but I, I didn't want to be bullied. <laughs> you know um, what dwarfism I think he has? It's, do you know the guy uh, from um, Pirates of the Caribbean, the Marty Club? Guy? Yeah, I know Marty. Yeah. I think they have the same type of dwarfism because Marty at one point could run really, really fast. And he was very tiny too. Yeah. But he's like a bigger version of Marty. Yeah, Marty's a little smaller. Do you, you know Marty Pir- Pirates? from Pirates? Have you seen Pirates of the Caribbean yet? I did some of it. I think... Uh, Wait, you did see some of it? Okay. Yeah, I, I see. I There's a little dude in there. Yep. What I was going to ask, I, I, I figured if any sport came out of the Amish community, it was going to be cornhole, but I was probably wrong. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you know it's sacks. You were, you were, <laughs> sacks of grains. Yeah. You know, you're well, another thing hole. I always thought is, what about a horseshoe? They or a never horseshoe. played yeah. horseshoe. You other guys than, didn't play that. Well, I played horseshoe, but I was shoeing horses. You know, <laughs> not not strolling them. Yeah. And I I was I was just mind blown. I didn't even hear about it after I left the Amish. You know, we're shoeing horses all the time, and then there's a game called horseshoe. You know. Yeah. <laughs> of course, little dude probably. Is it's a little complicated to Not at do all. competition. Oh, no I way. You, so, you'd be good if you got the strength and you throw it to the other pole. You're good. So with uh, when you when you were younger, you talk about like being bullied. Were you getting like you were getting physically bullied and verbally bullied by kids? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. And you like, just toughened up. Yeah. 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 They. You have to. They made a fun of you. Whatever. Like the, now. I don't give a shit what somebody says. There we you know? go. <laughs> yep. You know? Exactly. You're an older Words dude. are worth what, 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 It's what no you? sense to get mad or anything. Like, to me, it's pointless. Like, nowadays, <clears throat> even with me, I'm like, tell me something I haven't heard. You, know, <laughs> you, you, you think I have never heard that before? <laughs> that you're that smart that I've never heard that before? Like, yeah. yeah. Um, do your parents still try to contact you and say, or do they know how to contact you? Yeah, they will write me a letter. They write you every letters? Every once in a while. That's I try to go cool back, s- see them, like, every year. I'll yeah. try to go back. But you're not shunned from them. I'm shunned from them, but my parents are pretty good with it. They're, like, they they're a little me. less, they're a little lenient on you? Yeah, they nice. say come back. They said if you come back, come by yourself, but come at night so other Amish people. They don't want other Amish people seeing that I'm there just because. But you can't pull up in your car. Yeah. Oh, you do pull up in yeah. your car. Okay. Yeah. The last time I was there, my sister's husband was there. Did he lose it? Oh, he come walking out in the porch. He goes, hey, Elmer, your horse is a little different horse this time. <laughs> <laughs> he, he started out good, you know, like showed up. I'm kind of nervous all, you know, I didn't know yeah. what my father gonna say yeah 
Yeah, but at the end of the day, you're his kid, man. Like, you can't just, like... Yeah, that's what they said. ...wanting to go live your life. I was asking him uh, about the, the Rumspringa stuff, and he said that they never got to do it because... The what? He's part of an Amish community that is uh, uh, way stricter. The Rumspringa is when they, uh, the kids, the teenagers get a certain age, yep. and then they can go out in the world and party for like a, a, is uh, it a two year. Okay. That's right. But, his it, is, it's, but it, yours is a little stricter? Yeah. So what a lot of people call Rumspringa is in, like, in Ohio is a lot of it, where once you turn 16, you can leave the Amish, you go try English, Mennonite, any anything you want to do, you are welcome to go try it. You have two years. You can some of them go join the fire department and stuff like that. And then once you turn eighteen, you got to be able in them two years. You got to be able to figure out: Do you want to be back on Amish or do you want to just continue the English? Continue life? the English. Is, life. Do most do most <clears throat> people leave or do most people? Don't A lot come of back. them leave. In yeah, that. they don't come back. They're like yeah. yeah. <clears throat> do you have any other buddies like friends that also left that you've now connect with here on the outside yep you have oh, okay. i have a niece a niece okay my oldest sister actually there's i have two niece and a nephew yeah that are going to are out here in the english world mm. got it or american modern yeah. world however you want to say modern world yeah <laughs> yeah whatever world yeah, we, we used to call everybody outside English world. The English world? Or, yeah. That's good. That's all right. Um, but, yeah, they, um, my niece is out. Uh, two, two of my niece, one of them just left a couple months ago. So she never went back after she just left? Yeah. Oh, she didn't do the Rumspringa, though. No. She just... The, so back with this Rumspringa, back when my grandfather was... A kid, they changed church. The grandfathers didn't get along with each other, so they um, they had to split the church. So when they split the church, one went one way, another one went his way. What happens in the Amish when, let's say, let's say we are all in one group church. We're all bishop. I have my church, but we're all the same type of church. But Let's say this one guy comes up and wants to buy something modern that's in the English world and it's not recognized yet in the Amish world. They all, the bishops all talk about it to allow it, and then the one goes, oh, yeah, that's good. And then the other guys go, nope, that's not, I'm not going to allow that. That's not. Once they don't agree with each other, they have to split the church. And once they split it, they call it the doors are open. That means they cannot shunt you if you go English or you go whatever you go. Because you, the church... From spring to fall, there's like a six, eight months gap where they call the doors are open where you can figure out what church or where you want to go. Wow. So and then, um, yeah. So, so it's church every Sunday? Every two Sunday. Every two Every Sunday. two weeks. Every two weeks. Yep. Strict. Yep. You you go to church for, it's probably on for about three and a half hours. Do you still go to church outside of the Amish community now? A uh, little bit. Yeah. Every once in a while I go. Where where, not, where where you're where you're where you're living now in Newport? New York, uh, and uh, like Canton, New York. Okay, no, but no. Where are you in OC right now, Orange County? Yep. Do you go to church out there? No, no, not at I all. haven't really. Um, I have nothing against it, or I'm not. I don't know. I'm not much to go to the church. Where are you at in Orange County? I am um, Villa Villa Park. Villa Park. I don't know where that's at. What's it near? Uh, uh, it's close to um, Tustin. Oh, Tustin. Yeah. You're right by me. I'm in Costa Mesa. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'm down at the beach side. Oh, nice. You should yeah. meet him at a Chronic Tacos, man. <laughs> you like tacos? Yeah. You like Mexican food? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. What I kind do. of food is in the Amish community? What are you guys usually eating at night for dinner? Meat and potatoes. Yeah. Meat, meat and potatoes? Well, meat and uh, beef, some kind of beef. It's always beef. Um, there's all sorts of stuff. And then rice. Uh, they cook all sorts of stuff at night. Or they might have soup. 
Mm. Macaroni and potato soup. Now this is going to be a silly question. Are 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 do do Amish people do they vote like when the presidential stuff is going? No, on? they don't. They don't vote. No, they don't vote. But would you consider <clears throat> Amish more conservative than Democrat? Um, Democratic. You, yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah I don't yeah. know. They, yeah, probably. They write their own rules, dude. That's yeah. why it's so strict and yeah, they, it's there that they govern themselves. Okay. The, oh, the Amish community. And they're allowed to do that. Yeah, that's their that's their land, that's their area. That's why they run it the way they run it. Yeah, you freedom know, of, freedom of church, kind of like uh, Native Americans. Yeah. Yeah, it yeah. is kind of like that when you look at it. Yep. Or kind of like like they're on their own survival, but and they're not doing any harm to anyone. No. So it's like just their like, own community. They don't go in wars. They don't agree with that. And then, like. Back when my grandfather moved in New York, they went through the law to make sure, find out what's legal and stuff like that. They print something out where the Amish, a lot of people like, oh, the Amish don't pay taxes, but they do. They pay taxes. They pay school tax and land taxes. The reason they pay school taxes, they help paying school taxes for the English, is the, because they want the government to leave them alone. They sent their own kids to their own private schoolhouse because of technology and modern stuff. Yeah. And then they have agreement, legal agree document where they keep their stuff to them and that's why they're so secret yep. about uh they don't they're very, very secret. Quick as a guy drives down the road and holds slows down, holds his phone out, they're quick turning around or they're gonna try to hide or something. Yeah. They don't, pictures are a no no. <laughs> yeah. So, no pictures. Everybody huh? will know when that guy's driving in town, too. Like, so you guys got no photo books of each other, of your family. Yeah, no, no photos of. Wow. No photos. I went to the neighbors. I was trying to find a picture of me when I was, you know, not that I'm not <laughs> grew that much. I was going to say when I was yeah, a little Yeah, when you were a little boy. <laughs> but I'm still, <laughs> you know, when I was littler. <laughs> yep. Wow, man. Yeah. So being out, what's one of the biggest things you got excited about being out in the English world? What's something that like you're like, I can't believe this and I love it? So I'm trying to figure like out like your what that favorite is. thing. <laughs> what is what do you love or love to do that's out here? I love um I love driving, going across country. Nice. Because I didn't have that when I was growing up. Yeah. And I like to be able to go on a boat, uh, go try. Like a jet boat, you know. Yeah, like yeah. Hop How about, on a boat have you, and go. have you been on a plane? Yeah, I've been on a plane um, once, and I like that too. Where'd I you like... go? From where to where? <clears throat> I went from New York, flew to Florida. Oh, nice. And I always wanted to go um, on an open plane, one of them helicopters. Oh, uh, okay. Go on one of them go hawk hunting or something. Yeah. Because I always thought that'd be cool. That is now, cool. Now, when you, you, you guys fish for food. Yep. And then do you guys go hunting? Yep. So do you guys, what do you guys hunt with? Do you guys hunt with guns? Yep. We, okay. We're allowed to have guns. We okay. used to hunt with a 270. Okay. And when we went hunting... My father had a 400-acre farm, and holy shit, that's yeah. huge! Yeah, for an Amish guy, he yeah. he had, he was he did good for himself, and um, we had there was so many deer on that property, you know. He had great big alfalfa and corn fields, and of course, in the Amish, you're so busy working and stuff. You're lucky if you have a stand up tree stand up somewhere, but a lot of times you just sneak through the woods. We had. And the one scene the Amish made it so hard to kill a big buck, they wear blue cl clothes, you know. That's the best giveaway for a deer. It sticks out like yeah. orange does to us, kind of. Yeah. And But we would always, in the fall, we always tried to kill two, three deer. And then we would butcher meat birds, and we would grind it together and make bologna out of it. Uh. That made some good bologna. You wouldn't think, but it, I love a bologna sandwich. 
Yeah. <laughs> meat birds? So you would kill deer and meat birds? Yep. What are meat birds? Meat birds. So uh, vultures? Yeah, chicken. Like you can. Okay. Oh, chickens. It, like it's the same thing as the where the chicken breast comes. And yeah. Then you buy it. Okay. Store, okay. Chickens. I was wrong. <clears throat> Vultures. Yep. Well, I thought when he said meat birds, <laughs> uh, birds that come down and eat the like oh, the, like, like eat the, meat also. Yeah, yeah. carnivore oh, okay. birds. No, chickens, bro. Yeah. Come got it. And so, <laughs> yeah, and then we also butcher like every every fall we would butcher. We had two hundred laying hens. Mm. Every fall we would butcher two hundred laying hens also, and we would every spring get new laying chicks and then the new ones start laying in the fall yep. and then we butchered the older one yeah. every year because they produce better uh, for they're... one year yeah and plus cool. it you're not you don't have three four year old chickens running around and then butchering it they, they taste better by just a two year old nice so. young young birds when you're um if you decided to stay in the amish community do they is it an arranged marriage no. No. Well, no. It's um Did everybody you, like guy or girl. They get to choose their own, their own um, girl or guy. Yeah. And then their own mate. Yeah. So own you mate. <laughs> were you dating anybody? In the, I did a little bit. I did date, and then I quit it because I knew I'm. I didn't want to. Leave. Yeah, I didn't want to break her heart or anything. That's what I was gonna ask if she was heartbroken when you left. I don't know. I, she didn't have a cell phone to call. <laughs> <laughs> Got to write her a letter, dude. Yeah. She yeah. didn't want to write him a letter. <laughs> Send a picture of my new car. <laughs> yeah, no, no, this is what you do. You write her a letter with a picture of you going, like standing in the ocean with a perfect ocean view in your beautiful car and go, I'm waiting for you. <laughs> yep. There you go. Nice and then son. she leaves and comes to you. Her family's keeping her. She's oh, staying damn in. It, She's dude. staying in town. Oh, nah, man. Yeah. He's she gotta pro- find a new probably- babe. True love, dude. Well, he's gonna find a new babe out here on the beach. She's gonna go hunting with him. <laughs> he's good. He's got it. That's the California guy right he's there. Gonna he's gonna meet like, a you're chicken. You're gonna make find a babe on the beach, dude. <laughs> and a bikini that's just like Elmer. Come here. <laughs> yeah. She's gonna have Elmer foot on. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, he's gonna meet a chick at LPA. Oh, there we go. Yeah. You gotta try the LPA thing. Yeah. LPA. Have, have the um. I gotta look up when that is. Yeah, yeah. You 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 would uh you would, you, like you would uh, it it would be a, a whole different world for you because it's something that I never knew about either, and um, I mean it's a lot of little people there yeah. there to have a good time. That'd be awesome support because support each other and you know. I always have this question: Where do they find their clothes and stuff like that? Because you guys must know just as well as I do. It's hard to just walk in a store and find clothes yeah. that act, especially jeans. I, I always or have to get shorts. my hemmed. Yeah, we both have to get our pants hemmed. Yeah, I got my 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 uh, my pants hemmed. Yo, I sure. do too. I actually started hemming my own pants. Nice. Yo, look at him. He's a. He's... Are you guys like using machines for like to make your clothes and stuff in the Amish community? Yeah, they use. Uh, my mom has them old uh, Singer sewing machine with a pedal where you're just stomping on the pedal and then my father he has a harness shop making harnesses stuff like that do you think there'll ever be a time where you're all settled down out here in california you you have your house you have your your wife maybe you have a couple kids and your parents travel to come see you i I mean, someday I might be settled down and have kids or something. But as far as my parents to come visit me, probably not. Unless no. they, I mean, maybe they would in a train. I I doubt it. I'm not sure if my father, maybe maybe my brothers might. But my father is, he's not, his health is not very good right now. Yeah. But my mom, she is. 72 I think she looks like she's still 40 like she has a baby face and but my father he had a heat stroke at I want to say 35 37 and then that kind of affect him but he's having uh he's walking with a walker right now so yeah 
it's kind of tough for him to get around. What did you think of that movie I recommended? King Kingpin. Pin. I love it. You did? Yeah. <laughs> is that how it is? Did that remind you of home? King <laughs> did, did that remind you of home? Yep. It's it's quite funny. <laughs> did you guys in the Amish community? Did you guys grow up with any music? No. Or did you guys make your own music? We did not have any music. We could not have any music. So you you weren't able to like dance, have dances, or any of that. No. no. Although I was in a couple dances though. Okay. Do you like music? Yeah, I love music. That's yeah. one of one of the things I really like was music. That's when amazing. I left, I like my music. <laughs> what what is the music that you're into? Uh, all sorts of music. You gotta you gotta hang out with this guy and listen to some Black <laughs> Sabbath, dude. It'll change your life. <laughs> Slayer. Slayer Black Dude, you gotta take him to a Slayer, Slayer concert, concert. Dude. <laughs> Fuck yeah. You man. would lose it. Yeah. <laughs> um that's something like that once you were out, you were very excited to oh, see I in was. the world. So when you went. And I was also very excited to watch TV. We didn't have TV. I was mm. all in on Westerns to just anything. Yeah. I, was, I just want to, you know. Do you know who this guy is? Did you ever watch Jackass? Yep. Okay, I, uh, so you know yeah. who this guy is. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I watch that stuff. I watch, uh, I watch so much stuff, but it. it there's so much I, I can't remember what movie what I all watched. Yeah. Other than because it was my first time, but I I remember I watched Jackass over and over. Nice. Um, because probably someone inspired me. I'm like, there's a little dude. And yeah. I never. I mean, I never hardly got to see a little dude. So I was always. <laughs> Excuse me. Bless you, buddy. Yep. Thank you. I was always wondering, like, how you know? I was always interesting how they do it out here. How, you know. We do it big. That's why we're saying you need to go to the Little People Convention. It's, you're, it's going to change your life. You're going to see all kinds of little people. Be all kinds of friends. You're going to dance. You're going to might even kiss a couple. You know, Don't stick to one. Kiss a couple. Get, get, get your feelers out there. Check it out. <laughs> Have fun. I, I just might go check yeah. it out. I think you should, man. I think so. I think Punch you might join you out there. I think you, you should there. document it. When you go, I, like, first time ever to a little person convention. I probably Amish, should. What happens? Yeah. Um, yeah. Amish style into the little people world. Yeah. That's huge. Did you ever watch that show, Little People, Big World? Yes. Yeah, where some, it was the family up in Oregon, where they had the farm. Yeah, the, it, the Rutloff farm? Yeah, the, yes. Roloff, yeah, the Roloff, Roloff farm. Roloff, yeah, Roloff. I always get pronounced it wrong. Yeah. But, yeah, I watched some of that. Um, I see that. What's her name? Amy is with somebody else now yeah, or something? Yeah, and Matt's with somebody else, too. Yeah, I always wondered how, like, you know, he, he lo looks like he got he got quite the farm yeah. and stuff like that. He's what got the a big farm. What did he do for a living? Because he was... He they was had rich. the farm. Okay, so they were... But I think a, he did real estate. Yeah, something, man. Re before. Rebuilding and, houses and yeah, stuff, and right? And then he just started buying the land. Wow. Like, he bought that out in the boondocks before it was big. And they turned it into a farm, and then the next thing they're, they're and the show was, made it just even bigger. And then their money was from the show, and then they made the farm even bigger. Yeah, that was a good show, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. I, I good always... representation for little people, I think. Yeah. Uh -huh. It was oh. good representation for little people, yep. I think, because no one really knew about little people, like, like reality style, like back, back Legit, back like, then, how like how they live. Like how, like, like, we operate just the same as everybody else, just. You know, there's yeah, yeah. We just need help reaching shit, or we need yeah, like exactly. School, I was know? gonna, like it's, but it it's interesting. I was pedals hoping in we your car. <laughs> I was hoping of pedals, we get you, this this part, huh? Speaking of pedals, did you make your own pedals for your car? I did my first set, See, and then my buddy, um, I work for a dealership. My buddy went on and he ordered a set of extended pedals from Ford Motors. Okay, and where they go on a set of pedals easy and come off yeah. easy, where I'd take them and I, in five minutes, I could have them off and put it on another vehicle. I always now, thought that would be a good business, dude. I saw it so, to, you mean, go and drive and... Create a pedal, right? You create these pedals for little people that yep. extend however long you need them to extend. And you, and you brand them, and then you sell them to... Uh, 
all the rent a car places. Rent a car places would be like the best all spots. over the world though. Yeah. I, because I, it, you know, you can make some money. Yeah. I saw yeah. it too, and I have, I have one set in my mind that I'd like to make that I think would be very beneficial. I like these ones I have, but I, you could, I could, you can make it better. I want, I want a set of the ones you make. I. I'm over the ones I have. Yours are there. like, you'd have to like, eh, eh, eh. Like yeah, so there's much. so yeah. much behind them. Yeah. I want so I always thought of ones that just freaking clamped, yeah. like hard. You clamp them, yeah. Yeah, clamped on, and then you throw like a little, uh, what is the pipe wire thing, and you just tighten oh, that that's up. That's how I have mine. Yeah, I and that's it. Like, that. like a full it's clamp. One tool, it, yeah. literally in a matter of seconds, they're yeah. off. Yeah, I want that. Oh, yeah, I know, yeah, there's so many ways I came up with ideas to make them. Um, I'd like, I, I want to kind of keep it as of right now because I, I want this one set that I kind of have this idea that I want. Do them. Like, make it Get into them now. Yeah. And then come back on and show them on the show and we can sell them to all the little people. Okay. I might just, yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll get, I'll come Get into you it. Guys. Yeah. yeah. Um, if that happens. <laughs> What? Ten percent. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what I do. Look at this. Guy. I'll tell you what I do when I when I do make them. Once I'm where I think they're now good set, I'll give each of you a set for nice. free. Nice. We'll promote them. How about that? And then yeah, help yeah. And then me then on. come on the show and promote them. Yeah, and I'll, I'll and I'll we'll figure it out from yeah, there. Yeah, they'll arrange. Yeah. But here's else. one thing I always said <laughs> that that I don't think a lot of people. Uh, realize what a little guy goes through everyday life. Like for me, an instant, I go to the gym. When I get done working out, I want to walk in and wash my hands. I can't even reach a soap thing to put soap on my hands. Or better yet, you you want to fly across country. You have uh, I have my extended pedals in my luggage. And then when you come to security check, they're all. First time, they were all over my luggage because I'm told, and finally I told him, I said, look, dude, the first guy was kind of giving me a hard time. I said, look, dude, when I fly to the other end, I need these paddles so I can drive. Yeah. Well, this other guard is standing What did they think? There. It was like some kind of weapon or something? Well, that's probably when they went through a scan. It looks like there's something in your luggage, you know? Yeah. So yeah. the next guy, I, I open up. I said, you mind me opening up? He goes, nope. And so I show him. I said, these here go in a car. I said, I'm a little dude, so when I got to drive, I got to have to use pedal. He says, oh, yeah, I understand. And I think these are a lot of, lot of ten top questions that people have no idea what we go through. Or yeah. just, <laughs> it, it, just you go in a store shop, and you're like, God damn, I need that. It's up there, but there's nothing around. You got to walk you gotta around with somebody. it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I go to the store and ask people, will you get yeah, that yeah, you down just, for me? Yeah, exactly. I get it down for me, please. I do, hey, too. Can I get your help to get that? When yeah. I see somebody around, I, I ask them or something like that. But it, there's just so much. Or even in everyday house, you walk in and you want to wash your hands, and you're like, oh, I got to have a step stool. Or you can barely reach to turn the thing on. You know, my buddy, Mark, uh, I have a buddy that we had on the show, and uh, he was on a reality it wasn't a reality that like they were rebuilding your house but it was for a show and they made marks like entire like living room area and bathroom area like all made for like a little person family because this whole family is little people oh it is and okay. it's fucking rad dude like you've you been go in there. his house yeah i've been in this house before but and that's everything hard to... like the sink to wash dishes is like here but it's perfect. You know, oh, you're not man. like this. <laughs> but if he sells it, he has to sell it to another little person. Absolutely, yeah. Or he's he probably sells, gonna live there for the rest of his life. Or he sells it as a demo yeah. and then rebuild on the land. I, I would I would love to see that. I always said when I built me a house, I'm gonna build it on the bottom where all my uh doors are and stuff. I'm gonna build it where I open the door up and there's a swinging step coming mm. out. Yeah, or oh, something. That's pretty cool. So when I let's say I sell it, sometimes I can just take them out or something. So know, you mean for your cabinets? Yeah. So the bottom ones would have little steps each one you open, so you can reach higher cabinets. Yep. Got it. That and and or yeah, just so I can reach the top or or yeah. On the is top. That, is it kind of like in the Amish? Like where you lived, like was it? Did you have it set up like that? Did your family set it up like that? Where you had stools everywhere? Or? 
I had stools. There was a step stool that I used all the time. Okay. But the Amish was, it was a little different. We boys had no business in the kitchen. Oh, that's a woman's spot. Yeah. Huh? Yes. The, the, you come in, you walk in the house, your, your boots, shoes, everything is on the outside in the mud room. Yeah. And you were never allowed to walk through the house with shoes or boots on. And then, like as far as cooking wise. The Japanese. Yeah. We were not, we boys were not allowed cooking. Um, I barely knew how to make eggs when I left. What about your, like, so fish, you're not cooking the fish, the women are? Yeah, the The women. The women are, are, like, that's their job, the kitchen. Yep. Amish style. Yep, they do the cooking and stuff like that. It is very, very old. Traditional. I like that. Very traditional. But I like cooking, too. I love cooking. Oh, me, too. How about barbecuing? You barbecue? Yeah, now I do. No, yeah. in the Amish, you were not allowed to barbecue. Oh, really? Not outside. So what about like when you go out hunting, you know, and you're like camping out for the night, you need to eat. Oh, you were not allowed going camping. The way I grew up, you could not go camping. Shit. Oh, wow. You just hunt yeah. for the day and you come home by Fish night. And then the women yeah. cook. Yeah, and then you eat that And night. hunting was not, you, of course, the way I grew up, they all, everybody owned their own place mm. pretty much and they hunt their own property they would they wouldn't go out on a big hunting trip or stuff like that they were not allowed and plus they were not allowed also uh to mount their stuff whatever they kill you know like yeah. if you shoot a big 10 point or something to mount it you're not allowed to do oh that. like a taxidermy kind of thing yeah Got taxidermy it. stuff is there now living now living in the modern world the English world. Is there things that you miss about the Amish community? Like, obviously, your family. Yeah. But is there other things that you're like, damn, I, I miss that? Is there anything that will, like, where, it, where you would miss it so much where you would go back? There's nothing that would make me go back, but I do miss, um, I do miss their home cooked food. Mm. The home cooked food, um, I do like that. Yeah, nice but I did. Meal. Yeah, a home cook is. Uh, I like home cook or a homemade bread, homemade stuff. Dang. I did a couple of weeks ago down here. I went to uh, a friend of mine I met at the gym. He said he has a restaurant. It's called Pasta Party. Talk about some good short rib pasta beef. Oh wow. Uh. Yeah, that was very good. It's an Italian restaurant. Pasta party? Yeah. It Where's called, it at? That's in Orange County. Mm. Where, where? Um, Tustin? I Tustin, was, in Tustin area. I want to check it out. Yep. Pasta, Pasta party. party. In Tustin. Yep, in Tustin I might area, go by. Orange this, County. So, so this is all fresh and new news to me, So this, I, and I'm not the brightest person in the world. We know. Okay, you know. Good. <laughs> is there black people in the Amish community? <laughs> Not that I what know the of. What fuck? <clears throat> Not that... I'm asking a serious question. I don't <laughs> yeah, know. Right? Now, huh? down in... All? <laughs> I didn't say there's the a, answer. Not in our Amish, but there's different Amish. Yeah. There was. So, I, I don't want to say there's not, but not, the, not in our community. Not in your community, but, but there's other Amish people that are black in other communities. Yeah, that- I know down in Ohio, there's a uh, couple... Black Amish people. Okay, so that's it's a possibility. Which is yeah. which is very. Didn't, I didn't know. Like, you I, didn't think there was. I didn't know. I know that sometimes with religions and stuff, there's different groups of people that that get attached to it that normally wouldn't be on in it. You know. Yeah, I I so, know that. Uh, that I know is like groups big, like that. Yeah. yeah, it's it's Christians, right? Yeah, yeah, Amish, they, yeah, yeah. They Christian, and the thing is also is that um, they kind of live. Well, they're like survivalists, I guess. They live also kind of like the Indians. I know some Amish have, like my my sister's husband. He's like quarter Indian, um, in him. So I I don't know, yeah. you know. They they all stem away from the English from the English people. Mm. They start out as a well Amish cult, if you say may say yeah. so, and I'm not sure how it all goes. I'm not. The brightest was this stuff. But. <laughs> You're not the sharpest tool. Yeah, I'm not the sharpest. Just like me. Here, put it here. Yeah. 
<laughs> um, awesome. I, 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 got, I, don't, I, I got two dull knives right here next to me. <laughs> yeah. Loving this. Oh, God. You're like, you're so smart. <laughs> I didn't say I was. <laughs> um, I, I think we're just about done, man. Like, uh, it went by so quick. It was yeah. so, so great to have you on our show. I hope you do check out the little person, little people convention that's coming coming this year they have one every year but also we would love to have you back on the show in the future and let's okay. talk pedals dude yeah okay. that's a that would be a good thing to brand and make and make some money off of i it, could you see know? you making some help people ones. yeah and yeah. uh yeah so everybody check out elmer miller you, what, what's your you want to plug some of your stuff in yeah so my instagram is elmer's world seven and my youtube is just Almer Miller, yeah. and then uh, my TikTok is uh, Elmer's World at Elmer's World. Yeah, wow, you got it and all. And then huh? my Damn. Facebook is Elmer Miller. You too. went from nothing to just like you did, <laughs> now you're on every platform. Jesus, I'm like I'm just I'm down at the bottom crawling. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'm trying to. Um, of course, this stuff is all new. I'm not very good at it, but thank you very much for having me on here. Hey, oh, thanks man. for coming out. We appreciate you coming out and telling us your story. It was yeah. awesome. I can't wait to see some of his pedals, too. I want yeah, to and that has been our show, but, Little Revolution. Yep. Yeah. But just in case you forget, don't forget to go to NIMA, N-I-I-M-A, and get yourself some uh, supplements. I take them. Ponch needs them. But uh, if you go there and you put in the code L-I-L-REV, you'll get 15% off. There Woo! we go. Thank you, guys.